cut. I'm gonna turn the boat. So the trolling motor makes, it, makes up its mind what's, which way it wants to go. Okay, the camera's crooked. <laughs> hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Taney Como. We're gonna do one cast today. It's Tuesday the 7th, or the 6th? 6th. Six. 6th, six. gosh. <laughs> Fishing with a friend of mine, Richard Marks. Got to turn the camera around and say, Richard, say hi. Okay, and we're fishing with the mop worm under a float. They're running one unit of water. Of course, this one's got moss on it. These are 80th ounce, four pound line. Um, using the weighted floats, that's what the, the guys use for uh, the pink worm a lot. But since we're using spin cast instead of fly rods, and I'm going to reset my float. Got Richard about seven foot deep, and that's about what I'm going to fish. They started the water at one o'clock today. They weren't supposed to start until four. But they've been running one since then. We did drift these up in the trophy area below the, well, up in the dam. We're, we're at the red house. Where's the red house? It's up there. Gonna drift down through the narrows. We might do this, one drift, and then do jigs, one drift. I've got a white and he's got a peach on. Okay. You might jiggle that every once in a while. There you go. Just kind of give it a little bit of life. Now this is the area that we have been fishing these. I have been doing pretty good. Did good with the water running and with the water not running. So, but so far they have not, they hadn't bit them. Got a couple of bites on jigs. But this is kind of a hot spot from here down through the narrows has been where we're doing the best, so. You can uh, see the leaves on the tree starting to change a little bit. The other thing is they're not midging or doing anything on the surface, which is a little weird too. Nathan said, um, the guy came in the office just not long ago today and had to buy some tan jigs. He said he was fishing up below the dam after they turned the water on and had five, he said trophies, so I'm assuming he had five trout over 20 inches this afternoon on tan Tan scuds, Did I, say, I said midges. And I know before they turn the water on, fishing off the dock has been really, really good. 
night crawlers. Okay, nothing on one cast. Well, Richard hasn't got anything either so far. You make sure your worm doesn't have some green stuff on it. Again, you really have to watch your slack. They rent those downtown. Although I'm not sure they're supposed to be up here. <laughs> I don't know, I've never, you don't see them up here very often, so I, suspect that they restrict them from coming up here. Usually the water is pretty shallow. Go ahead and reel in. I'm, I'm kind of moving a little bit. I want to move over closer to the to the deeper water. Okay. Then don't throw it out quite so far. <coughs> That's all right. Not quite so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can, there you go. Perfect. Okay, we're in the hot spot. <clears throat> I think they might sh start shutting the water off before dark, but I was kind of hoping they would. Oh, sorry, I got those rods kind of in the way. <clears throat> oh, that was a fish. Oh, gone it. But well, last evening, you know, they <clears throat> they're at the last when I was whoa. Uh, hold on. Uh -oh. <laughs> I almost been swimming. <laughs> I done that. I did that to Dwayne Doty. Yeah. I did. I put him right in the water. I remember you telling me the story. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was close. One and you, you, you didn't, you weren't even saying anything. We about drifted into that right there. And he's standing right at the back of the boat. He would have launched. America's funniest old video. Well, it wouldn't have been on video. That'd have been horrible. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move on over to a little deeper water.
Sure glad I didn't run out of battery right then. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, that was not good. Okay. Back to fishing. The one thing I could hit up here in the lake, I about hit it. Oh no! <laughs> that was a good bite too. This place right here. Watch the tree. There you go. Ah, oh, your slack wouldn't. Yep. Now make sure that worm, yeah, straighten out that worm where it's hanging straight down. Yeah. That's two of this. And that's another way to know you had a bite. Because a fish will come up and grab that worm and, and basically hook the worm on the hook and leave you with everything. And yeah. <laughs> And then the hook's all balled up on the, all balled up. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get that pulled off because of the barb. You get that? Almost. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Come on, fish. I may have to cut it. This only good. Here, what's up? Trade me. It's already out there. You get a, Catch fish. You get a fish with that pink one, I'm gonna be mad at it. It's peach, not pink. <laughs> Oh, you just got to get tough with it. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, what did you do to this thing? Yeah, I told you. Where's your flint? Right here. Oh. Ha. Mmm. <clears throat> We're going to go just a little bit further and then <clears throat> and then we're going <laughs> to Did you see? It? Well, no, I just saw you launch it over the boat. <laughs> it was a fish. Uh, I think you broke off. I did. Laughing at here, trade back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, I'll break the next one. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I think you set the hook a little bit too hard. <laughs> Well, it usually is. Okay, um, hold on, I'm, I'm going to move over to the shallow. Okay. Okay, we moved over to the shallow side of the lake. And it's, it's pretty shallow over here. We're probably only fishing three foot of water. Oh yeah! There it is. Okay, I get you one. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the rest of it? <laughs> oh boy, boy is pretty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> settle down, settle down, settle down. Get a good picture of him. Come on. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Well, go ahead and recast and get out there a little bit further. Richard uh, works for Kids Across America, which is a um, kids camp. It's like Hanukkah, but it's, it's for kids from big cities, from inner cities, inner city kids. They, ah, oh, they pretty much bring them on a bus, right? Yep. Yeah. Right. And um, they recruit college kids uh, to come down and work. But KA didn't have camps this summer. They had virtual camps with the kids, but they did not have in-person camps. Canacuck had in-person. They had kids come down to camp. Did the family camp? The family camp have campuses? I'm not sure if they had family campuses. 
but that is an it's an awesome ministry we've actually been a part of it for a number of years we haven't been participating lately but kids get the counselors get a day off every s seven Saturday yep. well, well no back when you did it was a counselor wasn't every it wasn't the same day every week nope it was like every seven days and you have a day off or something like that. Yeah. They call them two fours. Mm -hmm. My daughter was a counselor and she ended up bringing a bunch of friends home with her on her two fours. And that was back in 2004. Four? I was one of them. And Richard came to our house and spent the night. And he didn't remember. Until I had to show him a card, which yeah. he signed a thank you card, and Richard Mark's name was in it. That was that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. But that was a that was so much fun having those kids come sprawl out on the floor and use the internet and the washer and dryer, wash their clothes, and we still keep up with. Actually, several of those kids. Grease. Yeah, Grease. Great guy. Aaron Anderson. He's down. He's in um, Raleigh. Yep. North Carolina. Yep. North Carolina. Okay, we got to go back and put the old jig. This is not working. Oh well. Go back up the old jig. Before it gets dark. Here. We're gonna switch it up. No. Nope. Now this way, if you fall in the lake, it's down documented. And if you catch fish, it'll be documented. If one of us catches a fish. Last time I was on one cast, I caught a big brown. Really? No, no, no. I caught a brown. Oh. I caught a brown my first one. Oh, that's right. I remember that. I'm gonna stay with white. He's Richard has a sculpin and ginger with a orange head. I got a couple good bites on white up there. So Did you watch Chiefs game? Uh, yes. I missed the first half. <laughs> it didn't look like I missed much. You know, it, was, it was still pretty close without Cam Newton. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what was the deal with the Chiefs in the first half. How come they couldn't score? Bill Belichick. Just figured out the defense? I'm going to kind of head towards the channel a little bit as we, no, go ahead, slowly, I'm going to head over there.
Ha! Fish! There he goes. There's our stick we about hit. Pretty. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fish. Oh, I got you. No, I'll get it. <laughs> oh, it didn't count. It didn't count. I still have a chance. Somebody sabotaged my net. <laughs> oh. That's called hitting the um, gravel bar with your motor. <laughs> yeah. It's shallow right here. Real shallow. Okay, we're just gonna go down this way instead of flipping around. No, no, no. Throw out that way. <laughs> we're ab living. All right. This one? Oh, that's shallow right here, isn't it? Uh, not out where we're throwing too bad. Yeah, I miss one. He tapped that one. Maybe. Yeah. I can't control the boat quite as well going down bow first, but not bad. Hey, he can catch a fish. <laughs> nice. Nice one. Yeah. You want the net? No, I'll be right. Fish. Holding them over the water. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Probably that's a good reason that you're holding them over the water, right? Yeah. I try not to bounce them in the boat. <laughs> it's not good for the fish. Yeah, he's. They are healthy. Just. Ooh. I'm show you how to do it. Sure. <laughs> Do you want to go fishing again with me? <laughs> I'll be quiet. <laughs> He's 
neck? Nope. He's not as big as yours. He's prettier though. He is much bigger. Wow. Gorgeous fish. Gorgeous fish. Man, he's got a lot of orange underneath his belly and his throat. Oh. Hold on, I about got it. Oh, there. I didn't get any gas, so we might be floating home. Yeah. Oh! He tapped it. Trout have really soft mouths, so when they tap it, they've got to hit it pretty hard if you feel that tap you know white bass and black bass when you fish for them they got hard mouths and when they hit it you feel that tap so you feel a tap when you're trout fishing then you get excited it's usually a little bigger fish So I don't know, this might be the new generation pattern. Although they were supposed to run it yesterday evening and they didn't run it at all. They were supposed to run it at four o'clock this evening and they started at one. It's hard to say. Couple more casts. I better cut it off. Oh, yeah. I'm getting to the bottom. I think. Assume that's from the bottom. What was that?
just about to fall creek. Last cast. Time to get the brown right now. All right, we got to get out of the way of this rock. Thank everybody for watching. We'll try to get back to the resort before midnight and get this edited and on, on YouTube. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.